Welcome to Weekly Java News, a place here on the Kenner Table Instagram that also is get spreads across a podcast platform or even on YouTube, where we go over what has been happening within the Ken Dama sphere. Uh, hey, what's going on? I was just looking at my schedule and I've seen that I really don't have much time. So this is going to be a quick one. It's been a while since we've done the last weekly Java News and we trying to figure out a way so I can get back on it weekly. So hopefully everyone can enjoy our daily, our weekly chats about what's been going on, get our ideas, you know, get, get those gears grinding to think about different things that have been happening. If it's a company, new album, new brand, new uh, paint, possibly, Hey, is it a new kind of uh, challenge for the month? We don't know, but. This is what we're here to do on the weekly Domino's. Just, just nerd out a little bit more about Ken Domino because that's what we like to do. So, as we've seen, as I don't even think I added a title to this, but whatever, because I, I only got like about, I, I only have like 30 minutes. And I don't believe I even saved too many points. Well, let's see right now. Looking at the collection. Oh, it looks like, looks like a good amount of stuff to talk about. Granted, a lot of things have happened since the last weekly dominoes i think it was right before battle of the border that i did the last episode so hey a lot of stuff has happened usually at many ken Domino events there are premiere drops there are product drops and there are new team members okay so battle of the border started off kicked off with a massive change a shift that can be felt all over the world within kendama burl subculture the video platform where you can purchase a edit i'm seeing now two hours massive yeah i i did an interview i had a youtube video that went up on the kendra team youtube channel talking with brett and we I mean, I learned so much about Burl, and within that conversation, he was saying that, oh, it's going to be about like an hour long Ken Dama movie. And then it comes out, and he's like, oh, it's two hours long. Amazing. Two hours of straight and Dama? I mean, if we're looking at example 28 Trick, oh no, uh, 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 New Year, New Edit Comp that just finished at the end of January, going through that playlist, I think there's like 90 six entries everyone's got like a about a two minute edit so you're pushing that you know you're all in two hours or even more you know and don't exact don't ask me to give exact numbers because i'm shit when it comes to math but that's a long time just going through those two uh two two minute clips edits for 96 people and that is like a massive thing. I was very excited for the people who were there, of course, shedding a tear for the fact that I wasn't able to be there or, you know, for that case, just any any uh, uh, North American Kendama event, everything that happens, it always looks so awesome. But luckily, you know, Sweets Twitch, Matt and, and Cody always help and support the people, the Kendama folks around the world to be able to feel a part of those events, no matter where they are. In this case, Battle at the Border over in the US. <laughs> so Burl was looked dope. The whole setup, Brett did an amazing job. Brett Walters. Again, go to the YouTube, Kenneth Timmy YouTube, check out that video. Hey, if you're a Patreon, maybe you didn't know there is a full 30 minute interview I did with Brett that I chopped up and I put into the YouTube video. Um so if you're a patron, go over and sign in to Patreon so you can watch that full 30 minutes of me and Brett just talking a little more depth about reasons why he did it or something and uh so that's amazing awesome if you haven't done it yet it's like 22 bucks to purchase the burl download it's pre-ordered right now and you are not only being able to get an amazing two-hour video grab your popcorn whatever snacks you want and sit down and and just get taken to a, a deeper place of Ken Dama passion and editing and and tricks uh you're you're also supporting all the people that you are watching in that video okay so it's like I don't feel that there should be any kind of idea of like oh this is too expensive because 
And this is one of those things that is giving right back into the community, giving right back into the the brand itself or this company, pseudo company, I don't know, this passion project of of Boston, of Brett, and giving it a place to grow. So in this world, in our lovely world, well, I mean, it's shit in many places, but we need money to survive. We need money to grow things. We need money to get uh, better equipment, to, to do things that are far beyond our dreams or even something to hit like our goals that we have. And that is something that we can't really avoid. So if you are someone who really enjoys Kendama and you want to support Kendama, if you want to see it grow, but you feel like, oh, I'm just like a little guy. I can't really do anything. I mean, that's not totally the truth. You can do something, but there's a quick way you can uh, help out by supporting other people, other brands, other smaller guys in the company, uh, in this in this uh, community, and support them with not only likes and comments and shares, like that's awesome too, that's spreading awareness, that's really dope, but actually picking something up, a product, something that you really dig, uh, and you know, don't worry about the shipping costs, like don't wait for the raffle. Um, if there's a deal on it, of course, jump on it even quicker. But the support is is massive with everyone and anyone doing anything in the Kendama realm because we're still such a small niche community. You might go to these events, you might see the community online and it seems huge, right? People think still Ken, Sweets Kendama is, is a massive, huge company. It's It's still... A small group of people grinding every day and all of the support every time you pick up a kendama from them or any brand it is a massive impact on their motivation their energy uh, and the passion just to keep pushing it because you know burnout happens no matter what field you are in if you're an artist if you're a constructor if you're a child care worker like no matter what kind of work you're doing, you can get tired of it. But it's the amount of energy, excuse me, that you get back while you're doing that work that can keep you going. So this is just one thing I wanted to like really touch upon because this is what Burl is. And it's it's another kind of way to look at Burl. It's not just like a video, yeah, support everyone. It's like, but deep, deep into the Burl is like the, the support. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was my rant about just one thing of Burl. So go support if you can. It would be amazing. Uh, other things that, of course, let's see. Do we have mostly product? Okay, this is one thing that is cool. Okay, yeah, we'll go into it. Glow Ken. This year's Kendall World Cup is going down. And traditionally, every year, they go around and they ask, they have an entry for submitting videos and tricks for the World Cup. It's amazing. Your trick that you thought of could be featured in the trick that everyone has the chance to do. They don't have to do that. Has the option to do, but kind of has to do, depending on their skill level. If there's this something that's like, hey, I'm going to stay at this level. This trick seems doable. I've never done it before, but I'm going to try it out. You could be in there. Kendall World Cup. Videos, trick list. Okay, they're wanted right now. From February 4th to March 4th. We only have a little bit of time left, everyone. Everyone's super focused and grinding, doing an amazing job on 28 tricks later. And that's all great. But also, don't forget, while you're out there grinding that trick to post that day, maybe this is something you want to shoot for Glowcan for the World Cup. But if you're going to do that, you got to be careful. If you're going to do that, you got to take that sucker and you got to go landscape it, okay? Horizontal that shit. Because Glowcan does not accept any vertical format video for their entry. So even if you have a great trick, great entry, you're like this is going to be awesome. If it's vertical, that might be the, 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 the box that doesn't get checked off on their list to be like, oh, we're going to use this for the World Cup. So be wary of that. But also, be wary you only got a few, a little bit of time left. 
I think I got a trick that I want to kind of do. It again, it's it's a, it's not so bad. It unless you're grinding, you want to go for like a level eight, nine, ten, so eleven, twelve. I don't even know actually how they get those eleven, twelves. If they just choose them because like people are like, "Whoa, this is a ridiculous trick. We got to put that in the twelve. Or do they go out and they ask someone specifically, "Hey, fish, give me something like a ridiculous line that is going to be." A level 12. I'm not sure. In any case, so that's that. Be on it. You know, entries, just keep on trying. Even if you tried last year and it didn't work, it's just, it's just, do it again. Huh. There's no no pain, no hurt, no hard feelings. Just do it again. Uh, What's this? What's this? Oh my gosh, this is one thing that I had no idea about until bef- I think right before Battle of the Border. I'm like, what is this popping up on the feed? Acid Labs Kendama. Sweet acid labs. Okay. There's many different types of labs in the Kendama world. We got Sue Lab. We got Sweet's Paint Lab. I think it's Paint Lab Studio. Uh, now you have the acid labs. All right. <laughs> Taking tabs. Uh, but hey, this is really cool because, again, new companies, new brands that pop up, it's awesome to see them bring something new to the game, possibly. So, here they are. Acid Labs. Whoa, da, 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 da. First post was October of last year. Very, very fresh. It looks like they have what? There's an official teaser. What? I didn't look into so much of what the 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 specific point of their Kendama is. Because again, every Kendama, especially the new ones, everyone wants to bring something new to the table, which is awesome. It is also necessary to, to, you know, to be realistic, to stand out in the world. Not only for Kendama, but for like anything that you're going to be trying to do. If you're going to be making music, if you're going to be making art, you know, you want to do something that is different or maybe, you know, specific to you. So it doesn't have to really like, I guess, stand out just to be like wacky, but something that you really put a part of you into. Um, And right now I'm trying to get like a shape. Congratulations, three winners. What's the shape look like? Is the shape the focus? Is it the paint? Does anybody in the chat know? Ask the lab boys. We're dope at battle. They were there. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they had like a gang. There's already acid lab boys, you know? Coming in hard. Not only is like, here's this brand of Kendamas, but hey, we already got a team set, ready. And that's really cool because you want you want a good amount of like people support and right from the get go and, and having your buddies, your homies be in that position is amazing like that's that's what i was and like a gang of other like seven other people when sue lab started you know we were a part of the team as it was growing of course all of us or none of us are still in it except sue but you know we still have that connection it's there and we support fully but acid labs so what are they i mean i'm sure yeah ken was Someone shredding. Uh, at Acid Labs, scientists have cultivated the perfect formula with beautifully whole craftsmanship, enabling you to unlock the secret elements in your game. Stay tuned for the ultimate kind of experience. Okay, okay. Interesting. There's, you know, maybe that's that's a good marketing to to just figure out what it looks like because you can't see any clear pictures of the shape as I'm going through their posts. And there's not too many posts that they have. They got some in the stories. Let's see it. They make what it looks like hand turned, maybe hand turned. Not sure at all. Mysterious. That's something that I keep eyes on it too. But that's awesome to see. Another dope <laughs> new thing is the the flail, the flail dama or Morning Star Dama? I forgot which one was which. But no, it, what is it called? A come on. You guys remember? Haru Dama. The Haru Dama. Yeah. Okay, so this is amazing thing. This dude, and I feel bad, ancient smorgasbord. Kanan, Lamp, a juggler. I'm not sure of background or he's still doing juggling. But he's the one, if you guys missed it, 
in Nako who performed for the freestyle performance with this Harudama, with this bow staff that has a base cup, Sarado, and a spike at the end. And then he has some sort of like, I don't know, foam-ish um, Tama that he's created. If you haven't seen it, go to his account. So, okay, so he released the two edits or, or two entries for the freestyle comp for last year's Nako. And they watched the first one. He didn't pass the, so we couldn't see the second one, but he had a second one ready. So go to his Instagram so you can watch the second one because the second one is dope. He throws in some really gnarly tricks on that one. Um, but yeah, so he was ringing a bunch of battle. I saw Matt on the, when he was streaming. He went by a bunch of the, the, the vendors and he talked to Keenan. Yes, talked to Keenan, dude who creates this Harudama. And, you know, just got into more detail about what it is and how to get one because it looks like he's, he's you know, producing them himself. Not sure exactly what it's made out of, but hey, some sort of foam-ish, but he's totally making it by himself, which is amazing. Awesome to see. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you could fly home with one. They're foam, which is what you need because this thing is going to be flying around. You shouldn't be playing outside. This is definitely not inside your kitchen kendama sesh dama right <laughs> i'm sure they were very pricey because he's only made a few of them right at the get at the beginning and handcrafting them himself it, it takes a long time prototypes also you can kind of think about all the time and sp energy spent into making it and getting it to where it was if you go on his account you can see like other prototypes which were like well you would you know just thinking about the um how kendama is it's a it's a wooden toy there it is he made just full-on wood laser cut uh plywood versions which looked awesome but also they i think he mentioned that they were like super heavy super difficult to play with super difficult to maneuver well and then he did so many different uh, iterations of it but i mean it looks really it looks really cool like if you have that like i mean even that looks so dope if you have that, like, I don't know, at the entrance of a uh, next Nako, well, you know, that's the doorway, the frames. That would be cool. If anyone has gone to Kendama World Cup, there is a huge, I think I have it in one of my vlog videos that I did, like 2019 one. There is a massive cardboard Kendama. I don't think it's playable. You have to be Andre the Giant or bigger uh to pick it up but it's a full huge ass cardboard kendama and you know just the decoration just a piece to like be put in there so people can take pictures with it or just be like oh that's really dope so <laughs> it is so awesome so awesome uh to see again different stuff coming out of blending hobbies you got juggling you got dropping phones you got which i which i saved it didn't totally hit the ground, but hey, Kendama uh, um, reflexes lies. And merging, yeah, merging passions, Kendama, bow staff skills, and then juggling and put that shit together, and it became this Harudama, staff dama. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. We're still in it. Um, Next one. So that was an awesome thing wanted to touch upon. Another piece that is not so uh, common in our in our Kendama world, but it is, but not from a Kendama brand itself. Chrome dropping this, not I mean they haven't officially, but the idea of a sesh mat, okay, it's pretty much a yoga mat, and they just put the brand's Chrome name on there. Okay, that's really that's really cool because every not everyone there's a lot of people who already have like a sesh mat this kind of foam cushion that they put on their floor where they're seshing uh i do not why because i don't know the same reason why i don't glue my spikes <laughs> same reason you know same reason why i don't put a helmet on when i tread on my board it ain't cool no i come from that generation where it's like you know you gotta get the 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 mouthwash should sting your mouth when you're gargling because that means it's working right that that spray on your cut that you got should burn like a mofo because that means it's working <laughs> so i don't have a sesh mat but 
uh, my wife definitely wants me to every time I drop the dollar. She's like, I'm dropping it. I'm like, oh shit. So I should, I should be um, getting the session mat, but I haven't. But then you think about if a Ken Dama brand came out with this, would you support? And I feel that the people who are at home, like, like about Ken Dama would support. Even if you had a sesh mat already, or if you're someone like me who doesn't have one, maybe you kind of thought about it. But if a brand came out and be like, hey, we got a sesh mat just for you. Look, it folds up accordion style. There'd be a more chance of people picking it up. And that is, and, and again, it just goes back to the Burl talk. We've got Boston in here. It goes back to the Burl talk of support so everyone can come up together, right? Because that's where we are in the Kendama world of being so niche. We got to hold each other to be able to get to the next step. Not battle and bicker, none of that, because we wait until we're like big dogs, which we're all like freaking, uh, um, I would, yeah, we're puppies. We're puppies right out of the womb, puppies, a few weeks old. <laughs> GT stool, yeah, possibly chrome branded sesh mat. And this is something, just an idea that they had. And hopefully it's one that they push forward with. Maybe even like, you know, it, it, it doubles. If you're someone who wants to get into meditation or actual yoga working workouts and stuff, like this sesh mat, it does all those things. So, and that's something that we see chrome kind of shifting over into thinking about more uh, mental awareness and stuff and mental health. Um, and that's something that even the, the past CEO owner Tokyo was getting super, super into, um, and is still really working to, in that, in that field. But that's a really cool thing to see. Chrome, make it, do it. Okay. Uh, other weird ones. Oh my gosh. I do have another weird one. Forest fire customs. You guys see this? Anything? Uh, what is it called? LARP? A LARP? A LARP sword with for your Kendama needs. Two? I mean, I, I, I kind of want one. The thing that is very interesting is that it has all the... I mean, come on. Little extendable sword spike action. So there's a spike. There's the Sarado with the two cups. Um, There's no base cup, but hey, I'm, I'm not complaining because you have a freaking sword that is like what it can. This is probably the coolest part. If you saw in his story, he has a he, he shows the action of this thing opening and closing. These little pedals like close in and secure that sword spike from coming out. And that was one of the coolest parts. But yeah, it's all 3D printed. So probably very fragile. You don't want to sesh hard, no taps, no inses. You don't want to drop that sucker. But the dude has a few for sale. If anyone wants to pick one up, and he mentions in the comment section uh, or or in, in the description that his idea is to like have a company that has funds who wants to maybe back it and create a, a larger amount or figure out how to make it um, to to pretty much hit him up and like work together. So, I mean, that's a really cool. Hey, the sound, you get to hear the sound now. So here it is. Forest Fire Customs making... Uh, dreams into reality. And if you think about, you know, Ken and Dama, Tama is bowl. Ken can be translated to sword. It is a different kanji than, I mean, it's not even a kanji. It's just the hiragana ken for the ken, but it deri it's derived from ken as in sword. And a lot of like translations that you'll see of Ken Dama, like here's like the different parts, like this is the big cup, Osara, and this is, and choose that a base cup and stuff. It will say that the whole sword, the Ken, is the sword. And I think a lot of people use that term, even like if you take the Sarado off and you just have, and you just have this part, people are like, oh, it's the sword. Now I guess, yeah, yeah, that's an easy way to, um, to, what is that? Something in there? Is that a bug? No. Oh, it's, it's a broken string. Yeah. Um, so that's that's totally cool but in any case any case dubro made a sword okay that's that's what we're getting to dubro made a sword burl sword 
I mean, that it, it, it's it's nothing is impossible. You just have to try, right? You can't say that I can't do it or I haven't like no because you haven't tried yet. And you gotta try. Dude, bro, tried and he freaking put a lot of time and work into it. It looks it looks really good. The way he like crafted it all together. It looks amazing. But LARP LARPing can Dama play. And that's how you come out with this. All right. Quickly. Oh, no. I mean, oh my gosh. Well, how much time? I got like, I got nine minutes and I got to go. We're going to fly through these. Because we got to talk about them. But up. Franta and Marcus have become pros. The first pros of Lotus Kendama, a brand, I think, when when did Isaac start that? Like 2020? 19? First pros on there. Got pro shapes, pro mods, their own shape, okay? My favorite is, you know, I love the look of both of them. Very minimalistic, um, simple colors. You know, at first glance, you're like, oh, is that a different Kendama? Is that is that a glow can? Oh, is that the Chato mod? No. Because uh, Shadow Mod don't have uh, a Predator base cup tracking marks, okay? Are they going to show it? No, he's not. No Predator tracking marks. Franta's Jam is super cool. I forgot what the, what was it? What was it? I think the, the B, the bevel? Was the bevel painted? You guys probably know more than I did, especially if you were at battle. Oh, it's a red or orangish bottom for uh, right around that shit. But any case, uh, awesome to see. Dope. Congrats to those two shredders. A very amazing flow. You know, uh, Marcus just released Lander Lingo. Dos? Yeah. The second one. Amazing. Just like string tricks going together. If you're following, you know, Flow Grove, he's learning how to do the scissor. And then he's learning the other one. The I don't even know. What, what would you call that? The, croissant, the hand croissant. Um... Then because of that, like, you know, I would see these tricks, Marcus doing it, and then like Friday to doing it too. I'm like, oh, that's pretty, uh, oh, that looks so cool. You know, Beanie pulling these, these auto spikes off as well. But I never thought about like, how, how actually are they doing it? Let me, let me record this screen. Let me slow it down. Let me see what the motion is until Flow Grow, until Josh did it. And then I'm like, okay, okay, let me try it. And then, yeah, I was able to understand. And then it was really awesome to see Lotus like come back and be like, okay, okay, here, here's how it is. Here's how we do this. Straight from Marcus himself. So that's amazing. Support the dudes. Uh, next one. Who else you got to support? Yo. Z-Mags. The Mags. Z-Mags. Has come out with a new Kendama uh, for 10 years. Fancy. Gold and white, you know. Old Curse of Pros only using gold Mugens. Maybe this is a throwback, kind of a kind of a yeah, hats off to that jam, th those old times. But really cool. You got X's all around, you know, um, more than triple. So you know, it, it's kosher. It's you can bring it to school and work. Um, awesome triple stripe. You know that all trip stripe for for the OG Kusa Pro who took championship for World Cup Bray possibly a, a hats off to that i don't know i just kind of look like it really quickly awesome congrats another massive congrats because again battle to border everything's popping off Whew. little benjamin benjamin benji benny boy benji Bo oh, benji you remember that old movie anyone back in the day with that the little dog benji i remember i watched that when i was a little kid watch yeah that made me cry um dude Amazing to see this dude rips and I think it is really great push to give a lot of and like support for the youngs because they're going to be the future. They're going to be like going into it and doing something like this for a company to be like, hey, you've been on the tribe team. Like, yeah, you're young. Maybe it's like even if you haven't been like placing like very highly, his skill level is very up there already, but to give them that extra boost of, I don't know, confidence or just, just support, motivation, 
can then hopefully give them a bigger push to go into the next place. You know, if you're doing it yourself, you can be worried, you can be scared about it. But if you have a group, a team to support and be like, hey, here's this thing. It's like, it's like the beginning of uh, Zelda when that wizard says it's too dangerous to go out there alone. Here, take this. Gives you the sword. That's what Benny Boy's got. He got the sword. All right. It might not be the master sword, but it's a sword. It's something that he can take in his journey to help him get to the next step. So it is super awesome. I thought it was like a awesome, like amazing throwback of just like 80s, hardcore 80s. I'm into fashion and stuff. And it's like, I don't even, that, that's a big world where fashion just comes around in circles. Like, Everything just comes back around. Same with music and stuff, right? And here it's so, so obvious that it's very influenced by just 80s. So awesome for the for, for us olds who are into Kendama, who grew up 80s kids. Because then you're like, yeah, I heard it sing by the bell, you know? So that's awesome to see. Uh, how much does it sound? Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, I, there was a bunch more, but I, I didn't save them for some reason. Maybe I didn't catch it on the feed. Zaki Dama for Locked is pro. This dude, I didn't know so much about him. I knew about Locked. I didn't know about their team. I don't know about their team even still and their members. But this dude, so a lot of people talking about him, giving him love. And for good reason, because I saw, saw some of his videos, saw some of his clips. Dude is bonkers on, on his consistency and s style and level of play amazing so it's really cool to see someone connected with a small brand who is shredding and giving other like big brand pros kind of like not a run for their money but but um so people who are from the outside you know watching looking in can see like oh here's this fresh new face like who is this what brand you know and that's what it's all about that's why teams exist for brands and companies to get the product out there, to get the word out there, to get the brand out there. And so this is a cool pickup, it looks like, for Locked. Zaki. Okay. Uh, how much time we got? Oh, geez. Two minutes, two minutes. Deal with it. Yo, deal with pencil and eraser marks. Deal with a uh, new pill. Collab with Terra. Deal with it. So awesome. It finally came into fruition because we've seen the the pencil, the two, the pencil two that in Dama, in Kendama form. But to see it in pill, it looks like that real Ticonderoga, you know? And my only wish is that the spike was like black too, or it looked like the pencil tip. Or hell, could, could we, could we in the next run? Can we or Hundui put an actual pencil? I want to say lead. I know it's not lead in it. Graphite. Can they put a line of graphite in there so that your pill is an actual pencil? Hell, do it with the Kendama. Is that too crazy? Is that too crazy? Even, you know, uh, even though you would. It would run out, you know, if you're actually using it, then you'd have to sharpen it. So you'd be losing your spike, which you don't want to do. Even if that happened, like, I still want that, that idea of that dude looking, being an actual pencil, be a pencil, please. <laughs> okay. We've got one minute left. Here's our final one, everyone. New Sue Lab. Awesome. Uh... Blood red. I don't know what they what he calls it. What does he call it? I don't know. There's no color. Anyways, the thing I want to focus in on is there's he's got his different shapes out now. Sue Labs, you know, people everyone knows uh, the, the friction clears and they know the different types of uh, paints or no, they have the paints as well as his shapes. His shapes are like coming out. He's had the absolute shape, which t turn into something different, which resembles this guy here, which is the noble shape. But he also has 
the general shape, okay? Now, those are two shapes that are, again, no, nothing is Hyundai made, nothing is China made anymore. All of his stuff is 100% Japanese factory made. So quality's up there, and that's why the price is up there too. But the interesting thing is that he's got a new clear. I don't know, what, there we go. X-Large jumped on it already. Evo Rubber Clear. Uh, now, maybe we should not say Evo, since that's a brand, and it just hit me right now. Evolution. Evolution Coat, you know? What kind of jacket? No, it's a coat, sir. It's an evolution coat. And it seems very interesting. It seems like it's a it's an in-between, maybe more of a rubbery kind of feel, like grip, not so like silky with his past like rubbers. And I haven't touched one personally myself. I didn't go over there and see if I can grab one. But <laughs> it's Soon's house. And the cool thing is that it's a in-between. So like you can have your choice of you want friction clear, which is their most durable, uh, I guess grippiest top of the line. And then there's like the friction clear light. All right. Then they have the foul paint, which is super durable, but it's a different like sticky clear, not so not rubbery or, or silky at all. And then this guy is in between. I think it, it was mentioning in between the friction clear light and the friction clear on grip level. So I know some people out there were like, oh yeah, friction clear light. It's a cheaper price point, so which is cool, but you pick it up and they're like, ah, it's not friction clear. Well, yeah, it's, it's friction clear light. You know, maybe changing the name would have been a good thing from the beginning. But in any case, that's one of the new things that caught my eye too. The Evolution Coat. Which, oh yeah, I think he released one before with the, uh, with the, the Tokinokane, the, the, the tower from Kawagoya, our town on the top. In any case, everyone, uh, I'm past my time. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully we can do this more often. Again, schedules have been pretty haywire recently. Uh, but hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Ken Entertainment. This is going to be posted later on in the week on your uh, pot, wherever you get your podcast, Weekly Dama News, or on the YouTube channel. You can check it out, Weekly Dama News. Go like it, subscribe, send the shits. And uh, hey, if you want to support even more, Ken Entertainment Patreon is a place where you can support me directly. Thank you all so much. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Good luck on the 28 tricks later. Keep it grinding and uh, keep it clean.